This is a simple guide on how to make a soil battery using plant diversity. Duplicating nature is the best way to create soil. A little bit of a background story. We have very little soil here. The existing soil is quite thin. It is quite good, but it's quite thin. So we've opted for an option not to bring soil in. We're using these soil batteries. And how we do it, I want to explain so everyone can duplicate this. So we have three layers, original soil, trench composting. This is material that is either composted or not finished composting yet. And we have six to eight inches to 10 inches of good soil. What we do is we put our seeds in this top layer and we go as high as 25 different species. We will diversify these seeds as much as we can. Behind here, I have one of those uh, soil batteries in action. I'm gonna show it to you. So what happens is the seeds germinate. They'll send out the vegetation up. The sun photosynthesis and the energy that's in the soil will make these grow beautifully. They get to a certain stage where they will send energy back into the ground. And these diverse plants will send back diverse energy. So these plants send P to Y. I'm using letters to represent the diversity, M to Z, A to M, F to Q, A to R, D, D to U. So these plants are sending diverse energy back into the ground. And these squares are representing batteries that don't exist, but it's a good way to represent the different energy and sugars that are being sent back into the ground. So these F to Q, these plants up here that have sent this really uh, different sugar and uh, energy down into the ground, they will attract very different microorganisms. And these different microorganisms produce different food for this area. So this diversity is not only represented above, the diversity is represented below as well with all this different sugar and nutrients that are being sent down after this, uh, these plants have consumed this energy and the sun's energy. They will send back 30% and that 30% keeps them alive. This is a, a circular gardening motion that is beneficial to not only the microorganisms in the soil but also the plants. So by having all this diversity, we are charging this area and these roots will travel amongst each other and mix and they'll enter different categories of, uh, of, of charging these batteries. Then what happens is the so these plants do so well, they will transfer through the topsoil into this trench composting area and then eventually into the soil area. So this is a five year plan of providing these plants with energy. The diversity and the trench composting, the soil and the original soil will keep this battery, this soil battery going for up to five years or longer. The depth we, we use is um, 10 inches or less than 30 centimeters of good soil, 40 centimeters of trench composting and then the original soil is below. So what happens is all this diversity feeds these plants in such a way that they have way more energy as a monoculture. If this was only one plant, let's say this was broccoli, this equation doesn't work as nicely. You would have to fertilize it and do many other things to get this result. So the, this idea of plant diversity, charging this system of a battery is what the diversity does. This trench composting below will supply energy into the future. So this is like a, a charging system. It has a, a, an expiry date that is way into the future. So this energy is almost perpetual. So it's a circular, natural duplication of what happens in a forest. The ground is always covered. The ground is always working. And this energy that is above is transferred into the zones below and these plants will thrive and do incredibly well because they have all this energy. The microorganisms actually die, they will provide energy again. So this is a pretty strong system of creating a, a soil that is 
capable of growing incredible amounts of green matter. And when this green matter, matter dies, it falls on top of this surface, decays and provides energy again. So this is a very strong case, this soil battery is a very strong case of um, keeping your garden moving without spending very little money and without um, lots of work. The work is minimized by having this diversity cover the ground. And I'm going to show you now behind here um, how this diversity has within less than 30 days has taken over this whole area. So this system of creating different micronutrients for the microorganisms is the secret to plant diversity. It's the secret to this battery system where you can actually store a lot of energy. The trench composting is an incredible source of future energy. And these roots traveling through everything into the original soil is a very healthy way of getting your plants to look fabulous and do incredibly well. So here we have an area that has fruit trees growing in it. They've come up very quickly. We have lots of different plants in here. We have flowering plants already. So this idea of having the soil completely covered and everything taking over is incredibly powerful. It is actually conditioning the soil at such a rate that it's really hard to understand how beautiful the soil is underneath this. We have trench composting underneath here. And if I were to dig a hole, you would be quite surprised how strong that soil is. I'm gonna dig a hole right now. Okay, so I drug, dug a hole. You can see the uh, decaying um, pieces of wood. There's, like look at that. That's after one month. Let me get a bit deeper. So here we have, that's the condition of the soil so quickly. It's sandy, it's working. It has all these twigs inside it that are decomposing slowly. And everything loves to grow in this, even though it's not finished composting yet. So that's the soil battery. That's what it looks like in real time, in real, uh, real example. Yeah, here we're gonna start filling this hole in with all this organic matter and the trench composting starts. So when you have this need to create soil, you have to become very creative. We're digging these massive holes and we're filling them up with all the green matter we have. We have, you know, we're producing, since our, since our battery is producing so much green matter, we can keep on um, composting and uh, cleaning up our soil and conditioning everything in such a way that we always have a forward movement with our soil. These soil batteries and this trench composting and this planting of diverse uh, species in, in terms of plant material gives us such an advantage that it is undescribable. There's, there's a, what's the best way to describe it? There's a drag that goes on. What happens is all the plant material in these and these battery areas are being pulled along to grow way faster, way stronger than if they were by themselves. And this idea of having energy stored in the ground with the trench composting makes a big difference because there's a, a future fuel cell for that, for that battery to reach towards while the uh, compost is, uh, while that organic matter is decaying and producing energy. So look into this concept, duplicate it, try it. It has worked wonders for us. It's created so much soil for us that we can keep this garden going. I don't have to bring in anything. And I bring in cow manure once in a while. That's all I can get in here by horse. And we move forward. We always move forward with this idea of improving our soils by constantly creating these pockets of uh, batteries, soil batteries. It helps so much in the gardening process.